Hi, it's Tim Cashel, and today we're going to give you a little peep show into the new Analog Away Aqualon platform. Let's talk about Specs AV. Let's talk about RGB. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things with AV. Let's talk about Specs. 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 The uh, Aqualon RS4 is the platform we're probably going to have most likely in our rental inventory. A couple things about it. If you are thinking of purchasing your own RS4 for your own inventory, just be aware that there is a little three inch protrusion in the front. It is not exactly uh, a whole lot of stuff in the front, but at least it does stick out three inches. So make sure that you actually allow for that space when you're designing racks or cases. Um, it is big, blue, and heavy. So it will not fit in the standard 24 inch uh, rail to rail racks. So you're gonna need something bigger to hold that thing in. On the rear end, it's got 24 inputs. And those 24 inputs are on module cards, so you can swap out between HDMI 2.0s, DisplayPort 1.2s, or 12 GSDI connectors. On the output side, same thing. You've got card slots that are field module re replacements. You can actually change them out for the same card types, HDMI, DisplayPort, and 12 GSDI. Now, one thing to remember, if you want to go with the full RGB uh, color spectrum on your outputs, if you want 444 color, you are going to need to use the DisplayPort cards at this point and not the HDMI cards. The HDMI cards at 10-bit are a maximum of 422 color space. If you want 444, it's going to be 4K at 30. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about what color depth or what color space you want to work in for your outputs. Also, the biggest thing about the box is it has 24 4K scalers. Now you may say, 24 4K scalers, wow, that's a lot of scalers. But you have to think about it this way, that's 24 individual scalers. If you want to put them together into mixing pairs, that cuts you down to 12 4K scalers, which is still a lot for a box that's this powerful. The other thing that's really kind of cool about the box is 120 megapixel pixel space, and that's 8K and a half worth of pixel space. So you can get two 8K outputs and one 4K output if you want to do that. You can get two 8Ks or you can get uh, one, two, three, four. You can get 12 4K outputs at the same time at 60 hertz. Or you can do a full uh, 16 1080p outputs. So it all depends on what pixel space you're trying to fill, what processors you're trying to deal with. The biggest thing is this box is built to push pixels. So with your bigger pixel spaces and your smaller pitch LED, this is going to be the box that you're going to want to have a single point of manipulation and pixel pushing from one particular item. So here at Evolve, we're going to carry two versions of the Aqualon platform. The RS4, which I mentioned, had those 24 inputs and 16 outputs. But we're also going to carry the RS2, which is a same platform, but a little bit scaled down as far as the input and output connectors. It only has 16 inputs and only has 12 outputs. But the same platform, uh, it also runs on a web RCS, so you can connect to it with any HTML5 browser. That could be a Mac, a Google, or any kind of uh, device that has that kind of browser on it. And you can have multiple operators connected at the same time. So there is no external software you have to run on your computer. You can just browse right into it like you would anything on the web, right? You know, those sites you go to on the web, same browser. Anyway, um, that's the box. Uh, hope you like it when it comes out. We'll be, have, we'll be having more videos showing you how to use the box, how to set it up, and hope you enjoy this video. Let's talk about space. Let's talk about space.